An ambitious idea that spent most of a decade in a cycle of living and dying might have reset the clock on itself for the last time. Here's why the Edge of Tomorrow sequel may be buried in the rubble of yesterday. While speaking with MTV News in 2015, Tom Cruise revealed that he had pitched an idea for an Edge of Tomorrow sequel to director Doug Liman and co-writer Christopher McQuarrie. Though the star didn't reveal any details, Cruz confirmed that Blunt would be interested in joining the project the following year. A few months after Cruz's comments, McQuarrie confirmed to Collider that the creative team had the idea for the sequel ready to go. Ideas turned into words as 2016 brought the news that race writers Joe Shrapnel and Anna Waterhouse would be penning the sequel with Deadline reporting that McQuarrie would join as producer and script consultant. By the end of 2016, Lyman had signed on as director and revealed to Collider that the upcoming sequel would be a prequel. It's unclear if that was the idea Cruz originally had pitched. Lyman, however, was completely enthralled by the idea of returning to the world of Edge of Tomorrow, telling IGN, I had these intellectual ideas on how you should make a sequel that are unlike how anybody else makes a sequel. And this script and this idea fit perfectly into that idea, so it's going to revolutionize how people make sequels. With such high expectations, one would assume that cameras would begin rolling as soon as possible. But Cruz instead went on to focus on Mission Impossible Fallout, stalling momentum. As 2018 came around, it was confirmed that the sequel would be titled Live, Die, Repeat and Repeat, with Lyman enthusiastically telling Collider that he, Blunt and Cruz were passionate about the sequel. He also confirms that previous scheduling issues between the trio had been worked out. While Doug Lyman had hopes to film the Edge of Tomorrow sequel after Chaos Walking, the film is still in pre-production. Will Live, Die, Repeat and Repeat ever come out? It seems unlikely. A few short months after Lyman expressed enthusiasm about Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt returning, the director revealed that a new script was being written by Jez Butterworth who co-wrote the original film, via Collider. Later, the invention of lying writer Matthew Robinson was courted in 2019 to rewrite the script. The Hollywood Reporter confirmed. While the live, die, repeat and repeat script was changing hands, Blunt revealed to IndieWire that Cruz wanted a sequel to film in 2017. The actress declined as she had already signed on as a titular character in Mary Poppins Returns. Blunt did, however, confirm that she was interested in returning and was hopeful that Lyman would produce a quality script. And the director did, confirming in 2019 that the script was ready, putting the ball in Cruz and Blunt's court, via comic book movie. In 2021, Lyman told Collider that the script was still being worked on, but that it was in a good state, revealing that it didn't matter how far along the script was, he said, if you can get Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt to commit to the movie, it's going to happen. With Christopher McQuarrie and a wide variety of other writers working on the project, changing its vision, it's easy to see why Cruz and Blunt didn't commit early on in the writing process. Can't stand the sight of blood. Not so much as a paper cut. <laughs> Ask Emily Blunt and she'll say that the proposed sequel has too large a price tag. Speaking to Howard Stern in 2021, the actress said that she can't imagine how the film would be made in a post-COVID world. Honestly, I think the movie's too expensive. Following the rising costs of goods and supply chain issues for key products, Hollywood has been actively trying to lower production costs, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Blunt said, I don't know how we're going to do it, and I think that it's hard to align everyone's schedules. I think until we figure out what's going on with the industry, we need to figure out what is the next roadmap for the kinds of films that people want to make. Warner Brothers, the studio behind Edge of Tomorrow, has seen its fair share of difficulties in recent years, casting doubts on their ability to bankroll a less than sure project. After AT&T exited the company, the entertainment giants hold $47.5 billion in net debt, according to Insider Intelligence, making it crucial that the next few years feature a string of hits. Even if Cruz, Blunt and Lyman could align their schedules, it doesn't look like Warner Brothers is in the position to pony up the $100 million plus the Edge of Tomorrow sequel would demand. However, fans of the franchise shouldn't lose hope, as there's a possibility that a series could hit HBO Max in the coming years. You're not going to believe what I'm about to tell you. No, I'm not. Warner Brothers made the shocking choice in 2021 to send this entire theatrical slate to its newly launched streaming HBO Max. Village Roadshow, a frequent co-financer of Warner Brothers, sued the media giant for a breach of contract by sending The Matrix Resurrections to HBO Max, 
According to The Guardian, made publicly available in 2022, the court documents of the lawsuit revealed that Edge of Tomorrow, another property that Village Roadshow had its hands in developing, is on track to receive the HBO Max treatment. The contents of the document don't suggest what stage of development the Edge of Tomorrow series is in, or if it will feature Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt. No creatives like Doug Liman or Christopher McQuarrie are publicly attached as of now. Recent years have seen several successful films be adapted for television, like Let the Right One In and Cobra. Kai. So it's not too surprising to see the potential Warner Brothers season adapting the sci-fi action flick for the small screen. The series could potentially retell the events of the original film and implement Lyman's idea for a sequel for a second season. Or it could go in a different direction, focusing on another military member getting stuck in a time loop. Anything is possible, especially if the series hits HBO Max, which has proven itself as one of the best streaming services. As for where the sequel currently stands, who knows? Only time will tell if Edge of Tomorrow is destined to get a sequel or if the HBO Max series will manifest.